Hey, greetings, creepers. This is Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com. I have my happy knife. I have a package to open. This is, uh, again, from Centipede Press, that lovely publisher of um, of books. I think they're based in um, Colorado. I'm going to start whacking it here uh, with the knife. Um, I can only remember what one of the volumes in this book is, and it's obviously um, too large to have just one book. And that's what's lovely about having a bad memory, isn't it? Um, that um, it, it's like every day is like Christmas. Or every time when I get a package, it's like Christmas. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm extremely excited about the one book I know that is in here. <laughs> uh. Delicious. Excellent. And, um... Oh, how fun, how fun. Well, the other thing I love about uh, any package from Centipede Press, especially when I get a couple things, because I mean, I figure if I'm going to pay for postage, I might as well get a few things, um, is that Jared puts a bunch of other cool stuff in, in the uh, package. And um, there's bubble wrap. Oh, in the top here, there is a, there's a sticker. Oh, nope. There's a picture of a man. I'm, I know I should should recognize this dude. An adventurer, scantily clad, a scantily clad male adventurer, hmm, uh, facing the um, northern wilds. Cool little thing. I've got a whole row of those down in my studio. There is a a letter saying thank you for buying our books. Send a peep for us. Very cool. And then there are the books. Oh, okay. And this is the one that I'm most excited about. This is the one that, um, it's, it's, it's a new collection, uh, the Bestiary, or Bestiary by, uh, uh, uh collected by, uh, Ann Vandermeer. Ann Vandermeer is, uh, someone I've been a fan of for, for a little while at least. She, um, she ran the, uh, version of, she edited the, um, the the run of weird tales when um i was most into that magazine uh it it was sort of the birth of the quote new weird it was um it was honestly the only magazine i think i think it's the only magazine that i've ever read cover to cover you know that when each one came it was intriguing the editorials were great um then and the stories were all very fresh and fun and um they weren't the same old doctrinaire junk. Uh, so, and I also had the chance to meet her at MoCon this year. MoCon uh, after Maurice brought us this that fantastic. Um, it's almost like like one long potluck dinner is what it sort of feels like. Uh, that, that ran for ten years in um, in Indianapolis. So I'll have links. I know I, I've written about reviews on it on the website a couple times. It was a great. It's, it's a convention like no other. Uh, there should be a MoCon every weekend in every city. This is just my general thought. Um, it, was, it was a chance for folks with extremely strongly spirited differing opinions to talk over a dinner table. Anyways, it was, it was great. That's where I had a chance to meet her. Um, uh, her partner writes a little bit too, Jeff Vandermeer. You may have heard of the uh, Southern Reach trilogy, which is fantastic. Um, Anyways, I'm really excited by this. This is a, um, it's an anthology, and uh, let's open it up and peruse through the contents, shall we? And I love the notion of a, of a bestiary, of bestiary. Um, they are since medieval times. Are they before medieval times? Are there any bestiaries from before the medieval? I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. It, it's, it's, it's both. Um, it's a description of the inner wilds as um, projected into the out uh, exterior um, like here be dragons here be dragons um, fantastic it is a modern bestiary of untrue tales edited by Anne Vandermeer with an introduction by Jeff Vandermeer artwork by Ivikia Stevanovi. I'm, man, that's really, really horrible to read. Um, honestly, I bought this because of the editor. I trust her opinion on stuff. 
Um, and I'm just scrolling through here. Um, Michael Cisco. Uh, uh, Michael Cisco is fantastic. Uh, Stephen Graham Jones. Brian Evanson. You know, at some point, I am going to have to put on my reading glasses if I'm going to be performing reading uh, in front of it. Catherine Val uh, Valente, Cat Valente, amazing stuff. Karen Tidbeck, or Tidebeck? Tidebeck, I bet. Um, Cat Rambo, Amal Al Al Motar. Um, anyways, a bunch of folks whose name I recognize. I bet this is just going to be lovely. Oh, nice, slightly textured papers and illustrations. Creepy line art illustrations. Oh, this feels like an old-timey book, too. And another thing I love about it is, is this, uh, what an eminently readable size. This fits in my hands. Very good. That, this just came out this year. Uh, I wanted to jump on it while it was still at the introductory price. But wait, there is much more in here. Oh, I know what these are. <clears throat> so, um... Centipede Press also publishes an annual anthology <clears throat> called Weird Tale Review, which, um, I'm sorry, Weird Fiction Review, um, and, uh, they come out, they come out every year, and, um, I think I missed last year's, but, but what's also lovely about them is they have, um, wry, you know, cultural, um, satire, um, this is, you know, uh, a, a trope of the, um, of a famous album cover. Go look it up on the internet if you're too young to remember. Anyway, so I'm, I'm going to leaf through. Oh, there's one there. Is that a fantastic cover too? So I've got I've got um, copies of these already, or at least a couple of these already. Now I have loaning copies, and I'm like that because I loan books. There, I saw a great book plate once from um, Who is the Greater Fool? The one who loans books or the one who returns them? Um, so it, I love to have a, an extra copy of some books just that I can release into the wild. Um, and if it comes back to me, that's fantastic, but, um, uh, something should be shared. And I think, um, these anthologies are, are really fun because they are collections of fiction and, and essays and, um, high-minded weirdness. I guess is probably the best way to describe them. Um, they've got, you know illustrations and and you can't see any of this can you um it is probably a nonfiction piece about about a movie oh nice with lots and lots and lots of stills center Prix press does really lovely um deep analyses of classic weird movies i, I know they've got another one coming out uh, it was just announced this week so i i, I will be unboxing that as soon as I, I, I get the next um, um, of their movie books, it's, the, it's two movies by uh, Guillermo del Toro, um, the Pan's Labyrinth and, um, oh, the Orphanage one. Um, show notes. Check the show notes. I bought a book that I'm not even describing. Oh, and so this is, um, they also did, this is slightly outside of my, uh, of my Ballywick, but, um, some nice hardbounds by Jim Thompson. He did, honestly, what I am most familiar with is The Grifters, which is just that lovely movie with uh, John Cusack and El um, um, Angelica Houston and that other woman. Honestly, when Angelica Houston is in a movie, it, is there any other woman? I don't know. Um, nice, lovely hardbounds. He is a, um, um, a noir, more of a, I think more of a, a crime writer than... Um, than um, than typically dark. Well, I mean dark. The Grifters is not a not a laugh riot, I, as I recall. But feel this book. It's 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 both hefty and eminently readable. Nice. Yeah, look at this. I mean, it's 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 a fully readable volume, and it has. I'm totally a sucker for these things. But a, a bound in uh, ribbon for the uh, for, to to keep your your place. Once upon a time when you didn't have an e-reader to keep your place for you and to synchronize among all your devices. When you had just one device and it was a book, you had bookmarks. No oh, crime in here. Here you go. I love these things just to keep your space. Anyway, so uh, they, they published several of his novels. Um, 
most interested in reading this one, but these other ones, um, a swell looking babe and pop 1280. Is that what pop 1280? Anyways, deliciously fun stuff. These, these were, I think towards the end of the run. So they were, were a little bit uh, marked down um, and which is just all the excuse I need. Just toss me a couple bucks uh, cheaper and I will, I'm, I'm, I'll buy anything from, from centipede press. Um, this has been Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor, from DailyNightmare.com. We put these videos out about twice, two, th two or three times a week, uh, hoping to add, add more. Um, subscribe, why don't you, if you, you're interested in my yammering on about cool stuff. And, and, and if you're curious, as I always am, to see what the uh, letter carrier has brought. Uh, anyways, till later. Peace.